Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I had a request to show um, different scarves that you can use for riding a motorcycle. Um, so that's what we're gonna focus on today. And I don't know the first thing about riding a motorcycle, so please, this is a disclaimer. Um, if you are interested in riding a bike or riding a motorcycle, please, please, please look up your, your local laws. Please look up regulations and rules and safety guidelines because safety is number one. Of course, you can look great, I'm sure, but safety is always number one key, okay? So please, please, please do that. With that being said, part of the request was to show all of my scarf collection, and I'm thinking like how to use all of them in riding a motorcycle, but for me, I think it's best to stay with the lighter ones because as you can see, here are some of my scarves that I don't think will work. Some of these winter scarves are very, very thick, and there's a lot of fabric. Um, even some of these lighter ones, they're really thick, and there's a lot of material. They're long, um, and I just feel like it's too much fabric. I feel that this would be unsafe. I would not want to wrap this underneath a helmet and try to wear a helmet with it. It's just too much. I would keep the bigger scarves for warmth, and even in doing that, um, make sure that you are maybe tucking them into your um, jacket or just finding a way that there's not fabric moving around that could obstruct the vision of you or the driver if you're in the passenger seat. Again, um, or additionally, you know, there's these silkier, softer scarves, and I would advise against those because I feel that they have the ability to slip around and in doing that um, they probably might cause some issues when you're putting your helmet on in terms of like slipping off not staying tied tightly enough or just kind of causing more work than you want to deal with when riding a motorcycle so that brings me over to my hankies and my bandanas um, now for the smaller ones there are I have three here that are small that are cotton they're all about the same size, and let's see what size these are. Okay, so they're pretty square. It was about 16 by 15. These are going to be too small. Um, as you can see, if you fold this in a diamond and put it around your head, there's not a lot of fabric to hold in place, okay? I mean, you could certainly do it with a tiny little baby knot, and it works. But this isn't what I would probably choose for myself. So what I would choose would be a bigger option. This is the biggest hanky that I have before I get to my bandanas. And this one is 18 and a half by 17. Okay, so you just have a little bit more room to play with. I like that. I like it because I want to feel a really secure knot in the back. So look at the difference. Okay, I feel on my head personally, when I have a little bit more room to make a knot, it feels a little bit more secure to me. Um, so that's why I chose the bigger one. And this one still is probably not the choice that I would go with anyway. So you can certainly do those as an option. As you saw, they work. Um, it's just not my preference. But what these do offer you is just a little bit more style perhaps. If you find these old hankies, um, they're often really cute. They have fun different designs, so you can certainly play with that, but it's just not a lot of material. So you have to find that right balance for you. Too much material for me, or not the right material for me, and maybe too small for me. So I like bandanas for this option. And here are some of the bandanas that I have. They're all about the same size. This is really pretty. There's a blue, this really nice 
nice red. This is a thicker one. I like that. This is another thicker one. And then this guy. And these are what I would probably recommend the most for creating a scarf that you can wear for riding a bike. This is because this person has a helmet. Um, it doesn't have a face scarf, so it's just a, a head helmet. And what I think works is if you take a bandana and make your triangle, this is the best, easiest, most fashionable option in my opinion. You tie it around your face and look at all this room, okay? So you have a lot more to work with. And look at how well that holds up just one knot. So right away, I already like this option better. Now, as you can see, that was pretty long, which is fine. With that option, you're gonna get a little bit more neck coverage as well. Now this I like. So you can put your helmet on after you put on your bandana and throw on some shades. That will help with the wind protection or goggles if you have them. Especially at night, you don't want a tint um, obstructing your vision. But again, please check with the rules and regulations. I'm not positive about them. Okay, so you saw that that was a pretty long scarf. You could tuck it in, which is nice. Kind of keeps everything tucked together. Um, but if you take that same idea and fold it a little bit back, so create this fold. So what I did was, was I created a fold. It's a couple inches. It's probably about three or four inches. And I'll wear that part on the inside because I like the clean look on the outside. And it just creates a shorter neck. So this would be great if it's a little bit hotter. When it's hot outside, you want a little bit more air movement perhaps. Throw on your helmet, goggles. Okay. It may look a little funny like you're trying to grab a bank, but <laughs> If you don't have a face guard, this is the best idea that I've been able to come up with. Um, and then what do you do when you're off of your bike? Well, that's when you can get really cute with it. So let's say that you get to your destination. One very simple way to go from riding to chic is to just take the bandana tie it around your neck. Look at that. This is very fun, fashionable. You get to your destination, walk around, you have this really cute scarf. Um, another idea is to fold your scarf or bandana, I'm sorry. And you could tie it this way, tie it close to your neck, okay. You could tie it around your hair, you could even Wrap it around all the way. Tie that off. Another idea is if you have your bag with you, you can tie it over a strap of the bag. And then it's not even touching you, especially if it's really hot outside and you don't want to add extra layers. 
See? Cute. And then another way that you can achieve that as well, if you don't have your bag with you, is to tie it around a jean loop. Like that. Or, if you don't mind having it touching your skin a little bit, but the neck is just too hot, go ahead and create a nice little bracelet for yourself. Voila, easy peasy. I love bandanas for this question. Um, I think this is gonna be your best bet. Now, if you don't wanna do a bandana, another great idea are these tubular bandanas. I bought this on safishing.com, safishing.com. Now they're calling this a polyester microfiber. There's stretch in it, okay, there's some stretch. Um, and this is just a piece of fabric that was stitched together. So you can probably even make one of these for yourself if you like. I'll give you the dimensions laying flat so you can get an idea of how much you would need to add. So as a finished product laying flat, this is about 18 and 3 quarters inches long by about 9 and a half inches wide, okay? So you could go ahead and create one of these for yourselves. They're pretty amazing. On this website, essayfishing.com, they show like 10 different ways that you can wear this. I haven't mastered all of them yet, but my favorite way to wear this for riding a bike would be just throw this guy on over your head. So first of all, you could wear this as a neck scarf when you're not using it for your bike. So that's an easy fix right there. But when you get on your bike, you just throw it over. You can even tuck it behind your ears Put your helmet on and you're good to go. Get to your destination, take it off. Don't want it around your neck. Wear it as a headband. Wear it as a gypsy headband. See, there's so many different styles that you can do with this. It's really cute. You can wear it around your wrist. So that's basically all of the ideas that I could come up with for the scarves that I have that I could use for riding a bike with a helmet that doesn't have a face protector. Again, please, please, please be safe out there. I hope some of these ideas work for you. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to show you what I can. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, good luck.